Hey there, I was calling this client gallery and I looked at this image and I thought, oh, I should do a quick edit of this for the client because I thought it was really cute. And then I was like, oh, maybe I should do it in a Voto. And then I decided I would do a little video uh, for a Voto. So when I'm in Lightroom, I'll usually kind of call and kind of do some cropping and I do soft proofing. So like I would put this in the gallery as a soft proof that if they chose it, I would then edit it. Um, right now I'm still editing in or calling in Lightroom, if you will, just because I think I'm so used to it, but I can load this gallery in, uh, in a Voto and do it this way. What I've been doing is just kind of doing sneak peeks um, in here, but I can come in here and I have a calling folder and I can pick this client and bring it in here and do the calling process in here and do the cropping and pretty much do everything that I do in Lightroom. And I'll probably start doing that. Um, I just have to kind of get more used to it. So I think if you want to switch to a photo, you can. You can do everything I'm doing as I would do here as I would do in Lightroom. And I can come here and I can call it and crop it. And you've got the cropping tool here and keeping aspect ratio. And then you can sync it. So it's like you can shift, click, and hit sync and do the same thing. Like I can sync this crop just like I would do in Lightroom and do it, you know, the same uh or not so if i come here and i say okay i'm gonna go through i'm gonna call i'm gonna crop and all of that over here in a voto and i'll do some more in-depth tutorials later in my presets i do have presets from lsp that i love you can do all base skin for example if i go to all and just double click it you can see zooming in that it looks it looks pretty good uh i can go through any of these and kind of fine tune it or not um or i can come over here to a voto and do their different tools look how good that looks though just by double clicking on the lsp without even using a voto understand that it is watermarked with a voto you pay it as you use it so if i'm calling I would go ahead and remove the ones I'm not going to do. And you can see deleting it will delete it from a photo. However, the disk will be unaffected, meaning I won't ruin the originals. Just like in Lightroom, I can keep the originals. Um, or I can, and so then I would just pay for what I'm exporting and not waste any money. What I love about a photo is I can come in here I can crop, come in real close. And then I can come over here to the people and I can click on child and you can slide, do the sliders of what you wanna clean up. So I did infant body blemish. I can do here, I could do face shine. And if I zoom in, you can see that it'll come in and just really start cleaning things up. Let me just get out of there so you can see. What I love about LSP is how clean it does it. Whereas Evoto, we kind of, we need to kind of choose and pick what we're doing in here, but it still does a really good job. I can come here and do, okay, so if I do infant blemish, and then I can come down here and see if I wanna do skin retouching, smooth face. See how it's smoothing that face here. I can come back up and there's freckle and acne you could do that'll really clean it up. You can just go on down, choose clarity, texture. So it's pretty comparable. Obviously, if I'm doing LSP, it's gonna be one button and it's gonna get done. Or if you don't have the LSP presets, then you can just go. There's all kinds of things here. You can change the background. You can come in here and do your tonal adjustments and your curves. You can do liquify. There's liquify in here. So if I come in here and let me go back. Let me just go here. Let me get out of this presets. 
Let's see. Go to color adjustments, face. Okay, so if I go to liquify and just go a little smaller, maybe a little bit bigger, I can come here and if I wanted to kind of round the bumps and bruises, not really bruises, but I don't usually have to liquefy the wrap because I try really hard to kind of get it nice and round in the session, but let's say I wanted to, I could kind of do it in here. And, you know, then we can go back to people and we can go to the female, for example, if I'm going to a family session and I could work with mom, dad, and all of that. So, you know, Voto is fantastic. You can batch things. And if you want it to replace Lightroom, you can certainly do that. Uh, right now, I'm kind of just doing sneak peeks and jumping in, but I think that the more I go in there, the more that I will most likely start in a Voto, do my calling, do editing. I think it'll be a huge time saver. If you're registered for one of my in-person workshops or the tour, I do have 50 credits to give you for a, do a Voto. And I'm sure as we go along, I'll definitely do some more tutorials. But this just kind of gives you an idea of how it works. I think you should check it out and try it.